going on? Tell me, is you doing fine? I need somebody by my side. I was thinking just tonight. You know, if you're feeling right, you can slide in my foreign ride. What's up, EJ Squad? Squad? In today's video, we are going to be answering questions today with different scenarios in a little game called break up or stay together basically in break up or stay together there's going to be different relationship mm -hmm. scenarios and we're going to have to say if we should break up or if we should stay mm -hmm. together this is going to get really interesting y'all we have some really great questions mm -hmm. and y'all go ahead and uh, play along with us like what would you do in exactly. the scenarios yourself so if y'all have any scenarios that stick out to y'all let us know down below if you would break up mm -hmm. or if you would stay together for whatever scenario we mm -hmm. say so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video so let's go first question is you first get into a relationship and you find out your boyfriend or girlfriend has a kid that they never told you about do you break up or do you stay together for me we first just got in a relationship, right? Right. You know, we kicking it off. It's real good. Mm -hmm. Going real nice. You know, had a few dates here and there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We, we know each other. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, And then you break it to me? No, that's it. We, we done. I think... We done. I think it's definitely a situation to where we first get into a relationship. So it's not really the first date. Like, we've yeah. been together. We've been on dates. Mm -hmm. And you didn't mention that you had a kid. Yeah. So that concerns me for you know, other stuff. Especially because, like, you know, like, whenever you first get in a relationship, you, you get, like, the... Yeah, you, you know, get feelings. Yeah, you, you well, like, you, you know, everything is so good whenever yeah. the relationship first starts. Mm -hmm. And then you break it to me, I'm like, whoa, you ain't like how I knew you was. Exactly. And then you kind of mm -hmm. feel scared because you kind of wonder, like, oh, what else haven't you told me about? So I think definitely going into that relationship, you already are not going to really yeah, trust, no. be trusting the person. Especially because, like, you just got into a relationship with them. Yeah. So, like, if that's, like, that's, like, a major thing. That's, so, like, like, in the beginning. So can you imagine, like, 10 years? down the line what you may right. not know or you know what I mean. yeah i'm gonna have to uh, break that off i'm gonna say no I'm i think we would have to break up yeah not because of the kid but because of the dishonesty in the situation yep. so okay so next one is you've been in a relationship with a guy for six months mm -hmm. and you find out he brutally beat his ex-girlfriend but he has never shown any signs of abuse to you in the six months that y'all have been together. So if I found that out about a female that well, was beating on a dude. Well, you can answer like oh. for girls. Oh, like, okay, okay. So, so if, I, if I was a girl. But you could basically answer like, what do you think a girl should do? Oh, so what I think a girl should do is I think you should run full speed out of the house and mm -hmm. never come back and don't look back. Yeah, I think definitely like a guy that definitely put hands on previous women mm -hmm. will definitely always put it hands on women it. in the future and maybe if he has changed do you really want to take that chance because like if you do feel like okay yeah. he may change there's still that slight thing like okay what if he puts hands on me mm -hmm. but it's like then you're going to be emotionally involved with this person and so if he does put his hands on you gonna be like oh i should have left blah blah mm -hmm. blah and then you're gonna be stuck you, you definitely don't want to be with a man that has beat women in the past because yeah. you probably gonna even if he doesn't mm -hmm. beat you as bad as he beat his last girlfriend he's definitely gonna have those abusive tendencies yeah. It's just a bad situation. Like I would definitely just have to break up because yeah. that's like I said, mm -mm. run full speed. Exactly, just get run, out get out of the situation. Don't even get up out of there. Yeah. Next question is: mm -hmm. You're with someone, and everything about them is so perfect for you. Their personality is amazing. They treat you great, and they communicate well. Only problem is they have extremely bad hygiene. You've went to the doctor, and you know, you've tried everything to help, but nothing is working. Ooh. That's a real tough one, man. Cause like you got every quality about you, but you just the yeah, hygiene. Your, your breath is just, hey, man, bad breath, bro. I mean, like just bad hygiene, like bad hygiene, bad breath, all of that. But everything else about them is amazing. Hygiene is real big on, is. on my list. It's like I, I like to and be clean. And a person may be a great person, but that's, yeah, that's for, a part of it. For me, especially I, if you went to the we, doctor, we, we, we could we could just be friends where we talk once a month. But if and it's, we see but each other it's once like. I'm out of there. But like you went to the doctor and everything and he 
just it, it just still isn't working to its yeah. fullest potential and then like you know what i mean i i just can't. i think i have to just break that off because yeah. um but we can still be friends yes but personality is awesome but like i don't know yeah. i don't think i can just deal with that yeah like, i mean we could talk like a few feet away i feel like that's a big part of it like you mm -hmm. know what i mean i think we would we would have to break I, I would have to leave all right so next one you and your partner had a big fight and you guys decided to take some space during the time of y'all space apart you find out they messed around with someone else on a trip they took with their friends so basically y'all y'all did have y'all time that was y'all space but they messed they slipped up and messed around with someone else on a trip they took with their friends during y'all's break that y'all were taking with y'all relationship would you stay with them or would you break up with them? it's over it's over <laughs> It's over. Nah, it, it's done with. It's done. Mm -mm. You know, I think the situation is like the space is us to rejuvenate ourselves and to focus on our relationship, but separately. But if you really think that's rejuvenating yourself, but you ain't gotta go mess with somebody yeah. else. Like you, you can, you can go you know on the trip with your friends but when you mess with somebody it's just right. kind of like oh so you completely moved on <laughs> you, you you completely moved on okay okay i see where we stand then <laughs> all right i'm out i'm out of there i would definitely break up because space is different than yeah but when you take it space off. it's like y'all may talk like a few times throughout right. the day i think we would have to break up next question is you're dating a guy and he buys you anything you want and asks for only thing is he treats you like complete crap, but he will buy you anything. See, a lot of women get messed up. A lot of people in general get messed up with this because you know how people like to say money makes the world go round. So somebody with money they feel like is has the upper hand on everything, but mm -hmm. to me money doesn't matter that much. Yeah. To me, it's, you know, it, it's give or take, you know? So what if you have money? You know what I right. mean? Right, I mean, it's like, I feel like, I feel like the way that I'm treated yeah. is more important than if he can buy me stuff. I would rather have a broke man that treats me like royalty the best way he can than have a man just, here, go buy this, yeah. here, go buy that, treat me like crap. Cause it's really like about the emotions and like, you try to physically buy your way into my life, I'm still gonna mm -hmm. be sad at night. Like, I'm still gonna be like, oh, he doesn't pay attention to me. Like, I don't care, there's no amount of cost or yeah. purses or anything that could make you I mean, change on the inside. If you're not happy with yourself now, you're not you're gonna, not gonna be happy, happy with money either. Yeah, okay? Cause that's so true. You're gonna be in a big old huge, uh, you know, 22 bedroom mansion by yourself sitting there like, well, what do I do now that I have this? Yeah. All, all the eight cars that you can only drive one a day, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, well, so what? Like, if you're not happy with yourself before you got big money, then like... It's gonna be hard to be happy after. You that's know why it's mean? always a important to be internally happy that way when you do have mm -hmm. money and stuff you happy too like, you gotta I'm be happy, happy with money listen happy without money happy with mm -hmm. cool happy with that happy with family happy with this happy with that happy with everything happy with everything <laughs> yeah. you just gotta be happy whenever you broke man mm -hmm. you know what i mean next one is you've been in a long marriage and both you and your partner are extremely unhappy only problem is if you guys leave each other you guys will become homeless y'all are really poor and can't sustain life without each other so basically y'all are together y'all's relationship is terrible y'all don't have no money so if i break if me and you break up we wouldn't have nowhere to live the only way we can have our house is if we both put in money to stay with each other but we're both extremely unhappy if me and you break up you know you gotta go live back with mom you gotta go yeah. we gotta go be homeless make a living try to figure it out so would you break up with this person or would you stay in the relationship for me myself i would try to make it work out just because i feel like basically in that situation we've hit rock bottom right mm -hmm. you know what i mean we're all really unhappy we're not financially stable independently right you know what i mean like we, we're, we're at the complete rock bottom of our relationship mm -hmm. and i feel like if we build this moment up like mm -hmm. our relationship would gain so much like like just just like so much like all around like greatness to it like i feel like now what if the person cheated on you Oh no, then we done. It's over with. So you go be homeless? Yeah, I'll go be homeless. I mean, it is what it is. Man. You be homeless? Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have to work several jobs. I I mean, I, I would be like, man, we just gotta work this out until we can both independently. Right. You know what I, I mean? think definitely just try to just 
tough it out, yeah. be roommates until y'all yeah, can. We're we roommates until we can independently move out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Until one of the persons like, all right, I'm out if they're like abusing you or something, then definitely don't stay. Yeah, and then that's a problem. But if it's a situation where y'all are just like not want to be together. But yeah, I definitely feel like if you can leave the situation, don't stay just because you want to have certain circumstances because yeah your happiness is more important mm -hmm. than right, having material type stuff yeah last question is you're in a happy amazing relationship with your partner you meet their family and all of their family hates you yeah my partner really loves me to death but Amazing. the family is a no go the ha family hates you family is a real big part of your relationship it is okay? because, because when y'all have kids those kids are going to those are going to be their mm -hmm. grandparents their cousins they're mm -hmm. going to be related and i'm sorry but like family is like top three for it relationships. is if they hate like, you but i know a lot you. of relationships that still stay in that yeah but i feel like it eventually depends, it really depends like Cause like, if you are with that person, the family hate you. It's just bad vibes. Yeah, and and like your partner, you know, your partner is but, gonna be with their family. But say if the relationship like, is oh. happy and amazing. Look, let's use us for instance. Yeah, it would just be real tough. Cause like any say if my family, family gathering. My family hated you and your family hated me. Would we break up or would we stay together? I think the voices from the outside would just kind of like push us apart. Oh, why does my family hate you so much? There's obviously something wrong that I just don't see. Right, but then again with us too, like it could be like racial. Yeah. So see, that, like, would and, and, up, and, that would and, and make that me sense, break then, up no. with you, yeah. But like if it was like, you know, other circumstances then, you know what I mean? Besides right. like doing like race and stuff. Yeah, I think definitely the situation though does depend on how close you are with your family. Because mm -hmm. a lot of time I feel like relationships are like that, but the person is never really close with their family. So they only really see them every yeah. now and then, so it doesn't really affect their relationship. But if mm -hmm. you have a close-knit family that doesn't like yeah. your partner, yeah. that's it, going to be gonna stressful. Be yeah. Because yeah. you're going to be back and forth, back and forth. But honestly, like for the situation, like let's say like you really cared about me, but mm -hmm. you were disrespectful for my, to my family, then like I think I would have to leave. Yeah, because Just cause, like, can I you don't... imagine you're down the line how yeah. that would affect you. but like if it feels like racial things or that's like different. cultural kind of things and i would stay yeah all, all right guys. guys that's gonna be it for today's video i had a really great time doing this video i hope you all did too yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if y'all have any answers to some of the stuff that we had mm -hmm. let us know those down below with y'all if y'all would break up or if y'all mm -hmm. would stay with that being said don't forget to leave a like on the video and go ahead and subscribe down below and turn on post notifications while you're at it and don't forget to follow our social medias above and with that being said we're gonna catch y'all on the next video everybody, everybody have, have a great, great day, day and peace